as you can see, I've already got my blank ready to go. Uh, I've already got a design that we're going to be putting on here for a friend here. Um, and here's that. Uh, kind of hard to see with the glare there, but uh, we're going to be putting this on here in just a little bit. But before we get started, uh, we need to take a look at cleaning the leather because a lot of times you're going to get stuff built up on the leather itself from wherever it's been sitting or you have little nicks and stuff that just need to be cleared out. So what I've got here is saddle soap. Uh, you can use a number of different products to clean your leather. What I'm using uh, it's just what I've been using. You can also go to a drugstore and get what they call oxa uh, oxalic acid crystals, and you mix about a teaspoon of that with about a pint of water. You can use that to clean your leather as well. So I've got water in the bowl here, and this is just some synthetic wool. Um, you want to go ahead and let, wet down your leather with that. After you wet that down, get a little bit more water. Not much. You want to keep it damp but not wet. You do not need very much of this soap. As you can see, there's hardly any on there. I just barely skimmed the top of the soap. And we're going to go ahead and put it on here. And you want to work it around. You don't need to press, but you want to work it around until you see a little bit of a lather. Yeah, it's going to be kind of hard to see from your vantage point there. But you'll get a, a slight lather on top of the leather. That's what you want. Uh, and just make sure it's all nice and cleaned off. And you can see all the brown and stuff. That's because I've had this particular piece in a box for quite a while. So it's collected a little bit of, a, a little bit of dust. So, all right. There we go. I'm going to dry that off with the other half. And now we are ready to go with getting our design transferred over. So I've got a bottle here. This spray bottle from Home Depot has water in it and also Easy Carve, which is a solution you can purchase at Tandy Leather Company. I'm going to go ahead and wet down the leather with that. I'm wetting down both sides at first so that, that way we can get our leather properly cased. You can be pretty generous with the water. The leather will soak it up. You're going to wait until it comes back to its natural color. So, all wet down. Alright, so we're just going to sit for a while and then we'll come back when it's ready. Alright, the leather's just now starting to come go back to its normal color. So, we're going to go ahead and line up our pattern where we want it. And keep in mind this pattern isn't exactly what it's going to look like. It's just giving me an outline in certain places so that, that way I know where to place certain parts even though they're not there yet and um, we'll get into that as I get a little farther alright so got this thing in place I'm going to tape down the bottom two corners and the reason why I'm going to do that is so that, that way as I'm working I can pull back the plastic the film if you will um, and be able to see what I have traced and what I've missed. So we're just tracing the design onto the leather itself while it's still moist, while it's still wet. Uh, here it is. Find the tool. Alright, all this is is just a little stylus with a ball on the end and I'm going to use that to transfer the design just going over where I want all the impressions to be. I'm going to Time lapse everything so you can see everything I do, but it's going to go by really fast. So if you have any questions, just put it in the comments. All right. Now the design has been transferred. Go ahead and hold it up here for you. There we go. All right, so everything's there. 
we're ready to go with the stamping here in just a moment. I actually tell you what, we're going to go ahead and do the letters on this side first. Uh, it's going to take the longest amount of work I'm thinking for me. Uh, for this one, I would normally, for larger script, I would use a swivel knife to trace it or cut everything out. But in this case, because of how small the letters are, I'm going to have to use an X-Acto knife to cut my lines. And then I will go over them again with my stylus. And I've got another tool that I'm going to use here. It's actually a wood burning tool, but I'm going to use it on the leather in order to get these lines the way I want them to be. Then I'll shape them again uh, with a modeling spoon. And when it comes time to dye later, I will fill all the letters in with black dye so that, that way they'll stay visible uh, for the life of the wallet. All right, here's what we've got so far. And we're going to start working on that and actually making it look like it's supposed to. Right now it's just kind of an outline of what we've got what we're going to do. Uh, in case you were wondering why I choose to use an Exacto knife on this followed by the little stylus then burning and then the spoon, it's so that, that way with the knife you can get the general shape of all the letters. So that, that way when you go over this you have something to follow and it makes it easier for you to burn in the proper places because it will follow that line. Um, and then I use the spoon to chip away all the charred material or a lot of the charred material. I mean obviously there's some left there. But it's not going to matter because we're going to go over this with black dye later. I haven't done anything with this small lettering before, so I think it turned out all right for the first time. I'm definitely going to have to work on my uh, skill with that. So.